Hi girls, this is chapter 9. This is the translation of the uh, continuation of the Trojan story. This is the story of the Trojan horse, and we have here examples of the genitive. So please watch out for the examples of the genitive as we go through here. I'll try and highlight them. In red it appears, Decem Anos. For ten years, Graeci, the Greeks, besieged the Trojans, but they are not able, capite, infinitive, to capture the city. Notice their urbem ending with an em, so it's a third declension. At last, Agamemnon, king of the Greeks, there's our first genitive, is despairing. He jubet, he orders all the chiefs, convenire, to come together, and he says, Decem anos, for ten years now, we are besieging Troy. Often, Vincimus, as we said there, that's where we get the word win from, perhaps, I think Alara said that. Often we defeat the Trojans in battle, but non possumus, but we are not able to capture the city. I am despairing. What ought we to do? Notice there the infinitive. Ought we to return? Nay, at the end, turn it into a question. Ought we, infinitive, to return home? What do you advise? The other chiefs fall silent, but Ulysses says, I am not despairing. I have novum concilium. I have a new plan. Audite me. Hear me. There we have an imperative audite. Omnes principes. All the chiefs listen eagerly to the plan of Ulysses. Genitive there. Ulysses. It's is genitive, so it's a third declension noun. They happily accept concilium, the plan. They faciunt. They make a wooden horse. Uh, sorry, an, an ingentem wooden horse. A huge wooden horse. They send multos viros, many brave men, into the horse. Illy, they, change of subject, they climb into the horse and they hide themselves in the belly of the horse, genitive. The others get on board the ships and they sail to a neighbouring island. Prima luce, at first light, the Trojans see the ships, Graecorum, genitive of the Greeks, abeontes, going away. That's an ing word that I think Aishwarya said present participle. Gaudent, they rejoice because the Greeks are not present. They rejoice because at last the fights are confecti, finished. Current, they run out from the gates, ablative orbis of the city, to a deserted shoreline. Spectant, they look at the huge horse, stantem, present participle again, standing on the shore. Some say, we ought, debemus, we ought to ducere, infinitive, to take the horse in orbem into the city, they say. Others say, nolite, don't trust the horse. Nolite, imperative there. Don't trust the horse, they say. Timemus, we fear dona, the gifts, graecordum, genitive, of Greeks. We fear the gifts of Greeks. Dona there is accusative. And you might ask yourself, why if it's accusative plural does it end with an A? And it's because it's the new gender, the neuter. For tasse, perhaps the Greeks, kelati sunt, are hiding inside. At last they decide to take it in orbem, motion towards, so accusative, into the city. Omnes laiti, all happily drag it through the gates and put it in arche, into the citadel. Ablative there. De inde, then they have a feast and they drink multum vinum, much wine. Noxadest, the night is here, Dormiunt Triani, the Trojans are sleeping. The Greeks, who are on the island, conscendent, get on board their ships and Celeriter and quickly return to this Trojan city. Ad Urbem accusative Triam. Those who are hidden in the horse, ablative, silently get out and they hurry ad portas to the gates. Vigiles, the guards, genitive of the Trojans, are sleeping. Ebrisund, they are drunk. The Greeks murder them. Portas celeriter aperiunt. They quickly open the gates and they receive their companions. Current. They all run into the streets urbis of the city. Genitive. Third declension noun there. A few of the Trojans are resisting. Soon the Greeks capture the whole city. At last they attack the palace Priami. Genitive. Second declension noun of Priam. Ochidunt. They kill Priam and his sons. Pauci ewadunt. A few escape. Thus the Greeks at last capture Troy and they delent Orbem and they destroy the city. Very well done. I'll see you in our next lesson.